Hello, my name is Tiffany C. Wright and I am the Resourceful CEO. Today, I'm here to talk to you about succession planning. Succession planning is when you create a plan for who will take over the business after you leave the business, whether that is you retire from the business, which would be the best, or you decide to move on to other ventures, or worst case, you get ill, or actually even worse, worse case than that, you pass. So if you plan in advance what will happen or what will happen in your business or who will take over or if you will sell the business and you put everything in place, then that is a smooth process. But if you don't, then unfortunate things can happen. And this video is relatively short, so I'm not going to go into all the unfortunate things that can happen, but this video is triggered by what I, uh, what a conversation that I had today at an event that I co-hosted and as a member of the group that I belong to, not as the resourceful CEO. But anyways, there's a company that was founded in, I won't use the name, but here in the Atlanta metro area back in the 80s. And both of the principals were still running the business. They had not designated anyone to take over. They had not designated a child. They had not designated an employee. They had designated no one. And one person got really ill and passed two months ago. And unfortunately, the other partner slash principal passed a couple weeks later. So now both owners of the business are dead. And they were both men and their spouses were not involved in the business in any way. So they don't know what to do. And the so that business is not going to have nearly the value that it had. She's trying to sell the business, but they've used, they have old equipment, old uh, so computer software from the 80s. And anyways, that's a different, that's a different discussion from succession planning. <laughs> Bringing your technology into the current day and age is a different discussion. But this is what happens when you keep thinking, I love running my business and I don't need to do anything because I love running my business. Your business has value. It has value separately from you. It is a valuable asset. So you need to treat it as such. So you need to prepare for when you won't be here or you won't be involved with the business. This doesn't mean that you need to execute your succession plan. It just means that you need to put one in place. You need to figure out if you're going to sell to an employee, if you're going to sell to a third party, if you're going to sell or pass it on to a child or to children or another family member, you need to figure that out. And then you need to put the process in because if you are selling it to someone inside of the business or passing it on to a child, then some you need to make sure that they have the wherewithal to be able to run the business and the, and the support to be able to do so. Otherwise, you'll need to bring in professional management. If you're selling the company, it's always better to have professional management that will stay with the company after you leave because that just makes your company so much more valuable. And this process typically takes anywhere from two to five years, unless you've been uh, putting in infrastructure in advance. So it's very, very important for you to begin your succession planning two to five years out. Do it now. Do it now. You can always change your plans, right? <laughs> you might decide to buy a house in five years and you might decide to do it in eight. The same thing with succession planning. You might say, okay, I'll sell my business in five years. You might decide to do it in 10. 